right, you guys. So we are back with a second location. Uh, we are we are actually at Robert Toon's uh, how home uh, located uh, here in Georgia. Actually, just right up the road uh, from his good friend Alexander Stevens. Um, now, uh, I will be providing more information on um, Robert Toon's in the description box as well, uh, as well as some photos. Um, now, I was able to contact the place they are going to give me permission to uh, film inside and they're going to be giving me a guided tour through the filming. Uh, so I'm super excited about that. I can't wait to bring you guys that content. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoy these videos that are coming with you or bringing to you guys. Uh, make sure you guys check out the Facebook fan page as well. Uh, love you guys and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Upstairs because um, the two women who still lived here, that was their little sister. Oh. And it's sweet. Yeah. Oh, um, okay. You ready? Yep. Definitely. Okay. Um, here, baby, can you hold this? I'll walk around with her. I, you walk past the houses in the back. Yeah. The big one uh -huh. uh, was, this end of it was the washroom, and then um, the lady lived in this part. The, uh, there's a smokehouse, and then there's a dovecote. Okay. And then there's the barn, and you know, in the back of that gray yeah. washed barn. Um, this is stuff that tells you all about Tombs. He was born in 2010 on July 2nd. Okay. Uh, his, he, his father died when he was only five. Oh, wow. He was Franklin College is where he went to school. Um, he was thrown out twice, <laughs> even though later on he was on the board of the University of Georgia. Yeah, that's right, because I did see that the yeah. Franklin College was what is uh, University of Georgia. That's where Stevens went too, right? Uh-huh, yeah. yeah. He, um, he went to Union College in New York, okay. which is where um, Lincoln's Secretary of State went to college. Oh wow! And University of Georgia for law school, University of Virginia for law school. He had to get special dispensation to get um, his bar. His bar because he was only 19. He was 14 when he started at the University of Georgia. Wow! He married uh, Julia Debose, Martha Julia Debose. When you uh, look around, you'll see lots of little pieces of paper. Yeah. And some of them are copies of little love notes oh. that he left for her around the house. Oh, this, that's, I mean, that's cute. He adored this woman. <laughs> adored this woman. Their first child died uh, at a year old, uh, named after his um, Wow. Uh, and brother. that's a family record? Uh-huh. From the Bible? Yeah. Mm. And... Um, Alexander Hamilton Stevens. Did they tell you that Alexander Hamilton is not named after Alexander Hamilton? No, they did not. Okay. Hamilton was the name he took from a teacher here in Washington that oh, he wow. so ad admired that he took the name. Oh, okay. So it's, you know. No, they didn't even, they did tell us though that, uh, you know, he was always confined to a wheelchair. Oh, yeah. Uh, he, he, something about like a, uh, like one of those fence doors or something like that, kind of like fell on fell on his hip and kind yeah, of crushed he just, it. He, uh, uh, even as a child, they really wondered if he'd live because he was that infirm. But he forced himself to walk and walk and walk and walk, and uh, it had a lot to do with him walking earlier in life. But you know, I mean, he was in a wheelchair. In the Washington Museum, there are some pictures of him oh, wow. toward the end of his life when he was really in a wheelchair. And, uh, yeah, because I was reading on on Stevens too that he battled a lot of illness mm -hmm. and depression yeah. his entire life. Um, yeah. Not really sure why he was never. And then I've seen something too that Stevens wasn't a big fan, I guess, of Jefferson Davis. Um, nobody ever really knew why. Because they just plain didn't like him. They just didn't like him. Tombs didn't like him either. Oh wow! No, I didn't know no, that no. Tombs didn't. Oh like no, no, no! Oh wow! In fact. Um, I just read another, I've read several biographies on him and several biographies on tombs. And I just I read another one on tombs. And um, when they had the big meeting 
before secession and everybody went to Montgomery, Alabama, um, there was a big train load with these people coming in and everybody was assuming that Georgia being the biggest state and the most, you know, yeah. the wealthiest state in the world, that whoever the president was would, would be from Georgia. Mm -hmm. And if that be the case, it would be Toombs. That was just, you know. But when they ended up in Montgomery, there was too much imbibing. Yeah. And um, that kind of spoiled it. So he wasn't the president. <laughs> I know when I was out in Vicksburg, uh -huh. uh, we went to the old courthouse museum out there where, uh -huh. where Jefferson Davis started his political campaign. Uh -huh. Uh, and then like last weekend we were at the spot where Jefferson Davis was captured by the uh, Wisconsin Cavalry. Yeah. Um, right before they had a skirmish with the Michigan Cavalry and they ended up killing two Michigan soldiers because they I guess had a crossfire yeah. and didn't know that one another was there until it was too late. I don't mean, I, I don't know how, you know, firing so many rounds you, you didn't notice that it was <laughs> you know, nobody firing back, but you know, the same people. You you would think, <laughs> but you know, God. I'm I didn't know Toombs. I knew I was reading on Stevens that he didn't like Jefferson. Um, Toombs and well, Toombs, Toombs and Stevens were really like brothers. I think. yeah, because the lady at the uh, at the uh, his house yeah uh, said reading. that upstairs they had a room, he had a room for Toombs too yeah. Um, Stevens' but you bedroom yeah. and his bedroom. Oh yeah. wow! Right, right above each other. And then here, Stevens' bedroom is on the first floor. Oh wow! He has a bedroom here, so. Wow, they were really close. They were really close. His, his daughters. Oh, these were his daughters. These were his daughters, and they were. Uh, Stevens had a real good relationship with his brother Lyndon. Yeah. But um, these were like nieces to him or, oh, or even okay. more I mean yeah so when they both died and they did both die in their 20s well, that's um, a neat it, name it Mary really Lou Mary Lou Mary Lou Toombs and Sally Toombs and then this is the uh, family Bible mm -hmm. wow it's amazing all the history that's still yeah. here and was able to be conferred um Toombs besides uh, uh, in Stewart County he had a plantation okay. I think he had one in, in Louisiana too but I'm not sure but the big one was in Texas 90,000 acres in what is now Fort Worth oh wow 90,000 acres that's a pretty big plantation <laughs> and because Texas was not a part of the United States yeah he kept it yeah yeah, he did. Even though they were part of the Confederacy, they they weren't necessarily a state. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's that's crazy. Yeah. What um, year? What year did Georgia decide to succeed from the, from the Union? Because they, they succeeded in sixty one, I think. So a little bit after. Wait a minute. Here's a copy of the secession. So I knew South Carolina was the first. Yeah, 1860 apparently, I can't see, I can't read well enough to tell you when the date is. Uh, January 21st, 1861, that's when oh, it was signed. Okay, so it was a little bit yeah. after probably South Carolina, I would imagine. Because I think South Carolina was 1860, no, they were, they succeeded 1860, yeah. right before Lincoln took office. Yeah. They, and they were the first, they were the first. But, and Georgia waited, be, and mainly because of Toombs and Stevens, because they, they held off for a long time on... You gotta go to the restaurant? Stevens. Right, right down there. You can have your pick on the right side or the left side. <laughs> there you go, baby. Right in there? <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, that's that's kind of he resigned, and Toombs was in the army for a while as a uh, well. First of all, he was a secretary of state. Okay. For, yeah, I've uh, seen a picture of the cabin. Yeah. Well, there's Stevens, and there's Davis. Yeah, Davis. I seen a picture of Davis. He was kind of scary. <laughs> well, they just didn't like it. They just, you know, yeah. I don't know that there's, 
They, they didn't agree with him a lot, but they just plain didn't like him. Um, uh, it could have been some views or points that we may never know. We may never know. Uh, that's, that's a good, that's the house today, right? Yeah, the, right. actually this is, this is, it's after, it's 18, this part of the house was built in 1880. So it's got to be 1880 or a little later. I love this. This is a, a board for children to walk on. You could you could sit on it and bounce on it, but you could walk on it and jump on it. Oh wow! You know, just you know, kind of like a little playground. Uh huh. This was they they raised nine children in this house, not theirs, because they adopted several. But, and whoa. Um, and then this some of the. This is, there's a portrait upstairs um, of, of this picture. Um, and that's the last picture made of him. Of Robert Hume? Uh-huh. Um, I mean, he was, he was not a very serious student when he was in college. Yeah. You know, because he got kicked out of Georgia twice. But um, and then he went to law school and he, he wasn't a very good lawyer in the very beginning. but. Once he took hold, and I think after he married Julia and started getting more serious, you know, he he wrote the railroad res regulations, um, 1877, and they lasted until 1945. I mean, think about that. That's a long time. How, how important railroads were back then. And they were a big part, especially yeah. during the Civil War, because... Yeah. I know I've seen so many videos where they were breaking railroads apart, yeah. trying to prevent either Union or Confederates to be able to use them. Yeah, tying up. Um, was the, these weapons uh, tunes or? Yeah, yeah. Never used the uh, pistols. Threatened people a lot, I think, but he never used the dueling pistols. Those are his swords. Wow, those are some big pistols. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alexander Hamilton, of course, was in a duel, but that was... <laughs> oh, he was in a duel? Yeah, he was killed. Oh, wow. Um, um, okay, and then here, just... I, I love this. This is the last thing that he said. I would not blot out a single act of my life. And that's got to be awfully nice to die and, and have that yep. as a thought. Okay, and then we go in here. This room was Tim's original office. There he is, greetings. <laughs> There's always an outside door. Yeah, right there. Uh-huh, that way people can come in and out and not bother the household and the household isn't bothered by them okay. in this door. This would have been the summer dining room and that's important because um, in the English basement, that's what this whole lower level is called. Yeah. It's a lot cooler than what's upstairs. Okay. And um, you just couldn't tolerate entertaining <laughs> a large you, party. Is it, did that picture of someone? Uh, these are these are paintings that... Uh, that No, oh. they, they bought them on their tour of Europe. Wealthy oh. people used to always go on the tour. Okay. And... Um, that's Julia. They, they named her Julia after Bernie and Julia. They, they named her. That's not who she is. Oh, wow. Julia didn't really live. And then that's, that's uh, supposed to be Ophelia. Oh, okay. And then that's that big boy you were talking about outside? Yeah. yeah. This, and this is the woman who was in charge of the laundry. There were about seven of these buildings that went across the back of the house where the, the staff for the house lived. Okay. He only had 17 servants here. They referred to their staff as servants, not slaves. They didn't use that term. Oh, that's understandable. This is what um, Kimberly's been working on. Um, these are um, blacks who were servants here and, and relatives of them. and. Um, she just took a couple of descendants on a tour of like where her family may have lived. Okay. Um, but, um, you know, they can come and they can 
you know, pull out and read, you know, whatever they want to about their ancestors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we when we were at the uh, Alexander uh, Historic Society or the site, uh -huh. uh, they, the lady there was telling us about the two servants that lived there too. Uh, yeah. Harry and Eliza, yeah. uh, and how they had five kids, um, but one of their children, Dora, was buried uh, in the cemetery across the street, or well, kind of across the street, uh -huh. uh, at that church. Um, mm -hmm. Then one of them, they said, she said that one of them ran off. They don't really know what mm -hmm. happened to her. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Stevens also helped with one of their sons uh, to get into college. So mm -hmm. that was. That was pretty cool, and he, they were saying that once they were free, uh, they were given an option to be able to leave or go, but mm -hmm. they decided to stay uh, to take care of Stevens, who was battling a real bad illness. Well, he was, he was in horrible shape. Um, a lot, of, but again, I think both Stevens, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, they, they used very abusive language, you know, in referring to... Um, black population in general mm -hmm. but when it came to the people that um you know worked with them um, first of all i think they they behaved very differently yeah. what are you doing <laughs> i think she's wanting to give you a hug <laughs> oh really you could give me a hug i like hugs i need them oh thank you thank you um i think where was i i got all uh something about i like hugs <laughs> how they used uh, offensive languages, yeah. uh, but they didn't really use them. They used the N-word and, and, you know, in their conversations and whatever. And But then again, they were exposed to a lot of blacks who were not like the people that lived with them and, you know. Yeah. You know, because they were... More... Refined. Yeah. And, and they were like family members. Uh, Uncle Billy, who was given to Tombs when he was born, uh, lived with him all of his life, went off to war with him, okay. was in battle with him, um, and when the war was over and he was free, he told Tombs, I, I want to stay with you, I don't, I don't want to go. None of the 17 people that lived here wanted to leave. Yeah, I'll stay here. I wonder, I wonder also, because it may have been like the only thing that they knew, you know? Well, one never knows. You yeah. know? Maybe maybe they were just being treated so fa so fair and, 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 and was treated so well here and being able to have a roof and everything. They just felt like this is their home. You don't know. I, I've read, I've, I just read a book on President Madison yeah. uh, and a slave that he had that was on his plantation took him to Washington. He ended up becoming a freed man and uh, owning a lot of property, really, as, as time went on. But, you know, I mean, he talks about that in the little book that, that he wrote. You know, it's like, you just, you don't know. Okay. You can't use anything I say, you know. <laughs> yeah. No, it's fine. Okay. It's um, this, anyway, this is all stuff that was found um, around the wash house. Oh, see wow. all the buttons, keys, even, you know, finding the oyster shells was important because one of Tomb's relatives really loved oysters. Mm -hmm. So we know that, you know, he probably got oyster shells sent here so, you know, he could use them in entertaining. And that's Uncle Billy down there. Right here? Uh-huh. With the horse or right here? Yeah, right there. Okay. Uncle Billy. Yeah. Okay. Want me to take you upstairs? Yes, ma'am. I can tell you. I can tell you more. But this is this is neat. These are old photographs that have been enlarged around the house. Um, these two men, this one mm -hmm. and this one, are brothers. Do oh, you wow. notice anything about them? One is very black. One is white. Oh wow. These are the two ladies who, um, they were very young here, but they're the ones that lived here 
when the state bought the house. One was the librarian of our library here for something like 40 years. Yeah. It, but it, when it was opened, it was the first free lending library in the country. Little boy. Uh huh. And I, I just look at that. That's the front porch. Wow. This was um, a greenhouse. Okay. And it's on this end of the house over here. Okay. I think you can see a little bit of it right there. Um, it's really dismantled now, and, and, and you know, the roof is gone, but it's got vines growing up it, and it is the most photographed part of the house because when girls are getting ready to go to prom or something like that, yeah. that's where they want to go. <laughs> it's, the, it's the beauty. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Okay, if you look at this photograph on this tabletop here, yeah. when um the state bought the house, that's what this wall looked like. This it was one? all windows with the door there, and there was a stairway going down. But if you look at, um, you know, there there was no way to. I mean, you know, it was a, it was ridiculous. You know, how can you have a stairway going down and, and a stairway coming up, and it just didn't make any sense. So they they ended up doing this. Um, okay, here. This is the 1880 part of the house, and this was tombs new office and it's my favorite room all the rooms in this house are really light and bright and airy yeah but look at all the law this this thing is also loaded with law books yeah Stephen Stevens had a big library mm -hmm. too I can see where uh, Toombs got it now <laughs> <laughs> well they were both lawyers <laughs> yeah Toombs was born a wealthy young man oh he was uh-huh Stevens was dirt poor. So but, he had a fight for everything. Yeah, and, but education was very important to him. And um, there were little schools that you could go to. Sometimes they were free for a period of time. Sometimes your parents had to pay a little bit of money for you to go. Yeah. But education was really important. And he was so smart that, um, you know, I think teachers took a special interest in him. Okay. Let's go to the center hall because you get a better look at the, oh, that room. at the rooms this way if we go here. Washington had no battles around it, but um, we were occupied after the Civil War. Um, and when we were occupied, Tombs was still here. Okay. And um, one day, the officer in charge of the area came with a contingent to the front door, and Julia saw them coming and answered the front door. Toombs was in the gentleman's parlor. This is the gentleman's parlor. That's a picture of Toombs. Oh, okay. Toombs. Very, he was a very handsome man. Anyway, the, uh, they wanted to see him, and she said, he's not here, because what he was doing was he went out that door, and then out that door, down the stairway, got on his Persian, which is a huge war horse, yeah. and uh, rode away. And he was gone for a long time because <laughs> he went, he went to over to Augusta, and then over and around and up this way, and he ended up down in Texas, and then he was in Cuba, and then he went to Europe. <laughs> oh wow! So he, he was really trying. To he was escape. escaping, yeah, because he he would not sign the oath of allegiance to the United States. He never could hold office again. Um, Alexander Stevens did sign the Oath of Allegiance when he was in prison, and that's why he was able to hold office again. He was, um, he was a representative, a U.S. representative again, and he was actually the governor of Georgia when he died. Yeah, I, I've seen that on the on the little billboard they have yeah. over there, that he died um, Sunday, March 4th. 
This was a ladies parlor and you look at it and it's a little more feminine. This place would have had carpet in it the way the um, um, Stephen's home does. Yeah. Um, this house was lived in a lot more than that, so this carpet got ripped up and that's why. I'm, I'm glad we're back to the floors, though. I like the floors. And then mm -hmm. this is the gentleman's. These lights that you see here yeah. um, came from, I think it was a hotel that, that Julia and Robert Jones stayed at, and she really liked them. Oh, so he convinced them to build it. Yes. Them. Oh, wow. If Julia likes something, Julia needs to get it. That's just the way it is. Okay. This piece is really important. This was part of the Toombs household. And uh, through the years, it, it was sold to someone after his death. And um, he had it appropriately, you know, refinished. Mm -hmm. And um, he had in his will that when he died, it should come home. And it did. And we just, we've only had it about a year. So it's back home now. This is Alexander Stevens' room. Oh, okay. So, is that a picture of Stevens? That is a picture of Stevens, very late in his life. Um, he still looks like a handsome fellow. <laughs> he wasn't, you know, he wasn't ugly. He, he was. And it's different to see him without a top hat, though. Yeah. <laughs> this area over here, because he also had an office. Yeah. But they changed that into. We now have that as a, a, a storage area. There are a lot of antebellum clothing in there, Christmas decorations, all kinds of things like that. But that, you know, was attached to his bedroom. Okay. Because he spent a lot of time here. Um, I like the layout of the house. Oh, so do I. This is, you know, I like all the porches. And, you know, there were rockers all over the place. This one needs to be swept off. And This is the formal dining room. A lot of very important people were here. This is the portrait of Stevens that I showed you that picture of downstairs. Yes. Um, the um, mirror is original. Oh, wow. Here's your pretty mirror. Mm -hmm. um, when you come over here, you know the dumb waiter I showed you downstairs? Yeah. Here's where it came up to. And there would be, you know, the food would come up that way. These cabinets are still loaded with um, tombs, china, and crystal. Okay. Um, all kinds of little recipes and things right Salting here. Salting meat. That's cool. This is the room where all of the linen for the dining room and whatever, you know, would be would be kept. And I have a feeling over there they must have had a shelving unit maybe for more. Yeah, it seems like it. Uh -huh. had something here too that they had up off the floor. I don't know. We, um, I belong to a garden club in town and we have decorated the dining room for Christmas a couple of times. And it is, it makes you feel so special to get out his crystal and his china and put it back on the dining room table again. You know, it's, you just, you can feel it. Yeah, you, know? you really can feel. I feel that too sometimes too. Like when we, when we go to like some of the cemeteries, those, yeah, the, the, yeah, like the soldiers and stuff. Yeah. Uh, especially when I was out in Resaca, uh, I went to that cemetery out there. I could really feel like somebody was there. Even when I went to Longstreet's grave, I felt like he was just. He had his hand on my shoulder and was just communicating with me. Let me tell you a little about Longstreet. I like Longstreet a lot. Longstreet was Ulysses S. Grant's best man at his wedding. Did you know that? I didn't. I knew that he voted. He helped vote Grant into being president yeah, at, the he end, did. at the end. Well, at when they were at Appomattox, yeah. Longstreet was there 
And two of the other Union generals that were there were the other two young men that stood up with Grant when he got married. So, I mean, you know, I mean, you really realize how horrible that war was, but you're talking about three of your best friends who stood up with you when you got married. You know, it's, there they it's were crazy. on the other side. Yeah, it's, it's really. Um, and, and he used, and Grant used Longstreet in his government. Uh, Longstreet did a lot for um, um, Reconstruction. He was very positive. In fact, people wanted to get rid of him because he was being too good to the blacks. Yeah, he was, he was having a change of heart. Yeah. He... It's just, you know, some people just gotta, uh, sometimes we all have to make a change for the better. To show you how special Stevens was. Yeah. This is this is a funny thing, but if you notice, in, you know, it wouldn't bother him as much. Houses were taxed on the number of doors in their house. So I mean, you know, that was nothing. You know, you just have to take care of him. You know, oh, wow. Want it to be quiet. For them. Oh wow! I like the staircase. Too. Uh huh. Washington homes aren't like. Savannah homes, and for heaven's sakes, they're sure not like Charleston homes, but they were very, very well built and very nice. And you said there was no battles out in Washington? No, no, no battles. Was there any regiments that came out of Washington? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. In fact, um, I think I seen one that came out of Crawfordsville, was the 15th Georgia Regiment. My, my house is on West Liberty. Yeah. And on um, there's a house on the corner of Pope and West Liberty. Mm -hmm. That's where the man who was in charge of bivouacking and training the um, the Washington regiment yeah. lived. Mm -hmm. And my my house is on land where they would have marched. You know, it's just kind of historical. My house is newer. It's 1895, but you know, <laughs> yeah. it's a new house. This is the children's bedroom. Well, that's a big children's bedroom. Mm -hmm. Would you like to have been in this bedroom with other children? Oh, I think you would have if you had other children with you. You like your bedroom better though, don't you? You don't like your bedroom? <laughs> this is the washroom. And um, they would have, you know, had uh, basins for their bath and whatever. Um, sometimes this room would have had like a hole in the floor and the servants would dump the wash water, you know, down the hall. If they didn't do that, they'd just pour it out the roof. Oh, wow. That's different. <laughs> well, you should. You're not going to want to carry it down like the steps. <laughs> no. You would you'd probably get tired by that point. I really like when they put out old house like this, you know, like the design. They really know. You must treat that. That's why it's love this. This is Julia's bedroom, and that's Robert's bedroom. I love their dresses back mm -hmm. They have gorgeous dresses. That's, that's really cute. Did you read this back? This is one of the love letters that he wrote. I can hold it and read it if you want me to. If you want to. All right, you guys. So right, right here, they got letters all through the house uh, that Toons would write to his wife, Julia. Uh, and this one was dated July 6, 1854. Uh, and he wrote, I do not think I have ever had you so constantly in my mind, in my life, as I have this trip. What a blessed thing is memory, which enables us to enjoy over and over again the, the sweet charms and pure lovingness of absent dear ones. Truly yours, Tombs. Uh, so there's love letters written by Tombs to his wife all through the house. Uh, so... You guys, if you guys are ever in Washington, uh, make sure you guys come out and uh, 
pay a visit to not only the Hamilton or Alexander Stevens historic site, uh, but come out here and see his good friend Robert Toombs as well. Uh, the people here are really wonderful. I was I was uh, granted permission to come out here and be able to film for you guys uh, and give you guys a little bit more insight of the house and each room in and the building as well. Uh, so I want to say thank you to all all the ones that gave me an opportunity to come out here uh, to film and bring you guys this content. Uh, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. And I love you guys and I'll talk to you guys again soon.